Hello and welcome back here on my English YouTube channel about my Lego City project called Brookwood. Today's update is one special update once again about my train stuff because I want to build a prototype, something I never saw anywhere on YouTube or on the internet. I want to build an induction loading system for my train system. It is going to be very important for future stuff. So I bought some stuff here from Amazon and I want to build an induction stuff prototype. So stay tuned. I'm starting by building the underlying structure. I have this round wireless charger. I bought it from Amazon. That's one special stuff because it's a wireless induction charger where you do not have to put it directly on the charger. You have uh, yeah the possibility to have it 30 millimeters away from the charger itself and it will still be able to charge it by induction. And that's something I really, really need to build this first prototype for my Lego train system because I do not have the possibility to directly put my train on it because we still have the tracks between the charger and the train itself. So I'm using that system. I hope it will work. I have that little system here. It's an... Uh, um, yeah, I can test if it works. As you can see, if every little light is uh, yeah on, it it's working. As you can see, it is working. So it's no problem that the train track is between our wireless charger and the later train that is being above that wireless charger. So first problem solved. It's working as it is or as it should. So next time or next part is we have to rebuild a little bit of our BL151. So I removed a lot of parts here because I have to put that, um, yeah, that, um, loader under the train. That's, uh, stuff. I, it's normally for mobile phones. If your mobile phone is not able to be loaded by induction, you can put that on the back and then you have the ability to put it in your, um, uh, USB charger port. And then you have an, yeah, uh, induction stuff. <clears throat> loading system if you do not have it included into your smartphone. Now I have to test some stuff because of course it's not so much space here and yeah I have to be sure that these um, parts of the train can still move to the left and on the right side so we have to ch check and test some stuff where we can put it and that's my solution for now as I said that's the first prototype it's going to be more prototypes in the future I think but for the moment it works, it's going to be able to move and it's going to be able to reload by induction, I hope so. So yeah, it, we can build the stuff back and then test the stuff here. Just testing some stuff here, that's my Boovis 3.0 um, yeah, stuff I got or I tested and showed you in the last update. And that's my construct. As you can see, the wireless charger is under the train tracks. We have now that loading stuff included um, a little bit over the train tracks. I hope it will work. As you can see, that green light is, yeah, it's, it's going up and going down. That's the, uh, in, that's a sign that it's loaded now by induction. So the system works. The first prototype works. We have the system that a train can go to that location, can stop over our wireless charger under the train's track, and then it can be loaded. As you can see, now the light is uh, just lightning green. So we're going on the left side. It's uh, once again going on and going off. And that means at that location, it's loading our echo here inside our boobies. And that's everything I wanted and it's a very good solution to get it done in that uh, way I want to have it. So that's <clears throat> what I did and it's working. It's the first prototype. It has to be optimized. It have to be some changes, but the main part of that is working. As you can see, going back to the left side, it's once again loading and going on the right side. It's once again not loading. So it's working. It's working. Of course, induction especially if we have that big distance between the charger and our train. It's not the best. We are having heavy loses of energy, but it's much more better than removing every time everything, putting out, loading it, and yeah. Charged once again. That's the stuff I used. That's uh, um, from Keypon. I don't know if it's 
available everywhere. I will going to be put some links under the video in the co in the comments. And that's the wireless charger I'm using in, as I said, the maximum charging distance here is 30 millimeters. So it's perfect for my solution here. Also using that magic tag. It's a stuff I, it's normally used for smartphones, but now it's on the, yeah, locomotive. And yeah. And the next part I'm using, as I said, that's the magic tags. It's very important to use or to buy one from a known company because there are a lot of very cheap um, copies everywhere. But they are they have the problem that they can be have or well, they can have some problems with the induction stuff, and they can go up and fire. So uh, pay a little bit more and. Uh, <laughs> use a more common brand that's just a little um, cable to make the connection cable a little bit longer and that's the three stuff well these three parts are used for making that first prototype as you can see it's still loading it's the green light is on and off and on and off and yeah it's loading so prototype is working so we can make a Huh, yeah, we can do some more stuff in the future when I'm starting to digitalize my uh, trains. I want to be able to control everything on a tablet so I can, yeah, move the switches, move my trains. That's something I want to be, make the trains more going to be like in a model railroad system. And uh, our train station is a good point because we are going to work here once again in one of the next updates, starting here with working on the platforms, working once again on all the stuff under the table because the people are going to be able to go down from every platform to go to the other platforms. That's a common way here in Germany and Europe. And that's a lot of work and we are going to start with it in the next updates to get yeah, more stuff done here at our train station. And also going to work um, on other locations here in the city, down under here, under the train station. That's going to be the next parts of the underground area, as we did on the right side. And in the far distant future, we're going to start working on the subway area. So we have a lot of stuff to do. Today, it was a more technical update, uh, prototype creation update, as you want to say it like that. And here is our prototype prototype still loading it's working as it should and i'm very comfortable i'm very satisfied with today's update and maybe you want to use that in your own city so stay tuned for more updates and bye